Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about safe navigation operator. Safe navigation operator question mark and a period short circuits expressions that attempt to operate on a null value and returns null instead of throwing a null pointer exception. So we have already seen that if we are having a null value, there are some situation where while executing it throws a null pointer exception. Safe navigation operator is actually a shortcut expression for checking out whether the value is null before using it. And if the value is null, it returns null instead of throwing an exception. If the left hand side of the chain expression evaluates to null, the right hand side isn't evaluated. It can be used in the method variable and property chaining. The part of the expression that isn't evaluated can include variable references, method references or array expression. All apex types are implicitly nullable and can hold a null value returned from the operator. We can't use safe navigation operator in certain cases like with types and static expressions with dots. So if we are using namespaces, if you are using namespace reference with class, if you are using trigger.new in any trigger or if you are working with flow interviews and calling a specific flow with flow.interview.flow name or if you are using any specific type to reference a class in all these situations we can't use a safe navigation operator. It can't be used for static variable access and method calls, for SQL bind expressions and for add error method on S object scalar fields. So definitely there are plenty of terms that I know you might not be understanding right now, but whensoever we are going to deal with them in our course, I'm going to remind you whether that expression has any limitation related to safe navigation operator. You should note that we can use the operator with add error on S objects, including lookup and master detail fields. So the restriction is only applicable for scalar fields. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. So guys, here we are in our org and let's create a simple program to show the use of safe navigation operator. So guys, here is the program and you can see I have created a string variable with name str1. I have not assigned any value to it. Definitely it will be holding null and here I'm printing it to a lower case. So if you remember, we have already done that in one of our previous video where we were getting a null pointer exception. This time I have used a safe navigation operator to do the same. So you can see the difference. Normally we used to call it like str1 dot to lowercase, but this time we are calling it as str1 question mark dot to lowercase. So in case the str1 is null, then definitely this whole expression will return null and this second part will be skipped. But in case str1 is not null, then definitely it's going to return the lower case of the string. One more example is there where we are doing the SQL query on account object and fetching the account name and then getting that name to store in a name variable. Then after we are printing that name. So in case this SQL query will result a null for name, then definitely this name variable will be assigned with a null value and that will be printed. If we won't use a safe navigation operator and try to assign it directly. And in that case, if this query is returning null, then it will throw a null pointer exception. So as an example, I'm just commenting out this safe navigation operator statement and using the normal statement to show the null pointer exception. So let's save this program. Let's go to debug, open execute. Let's name the program or class name over here. So it will be safe navigation dot show. Click on execute and now you can see it's throwing a null pointer exception. So what will happen if I will use a safe navigation operator over there? So let me comment this out and let me uncomment this, save it and let's run this time. So you can see no exception is thrown and let's see the out. So here you can see the output is giving value null. So with safe navigation operator, we can handle the exception for null cases. Let me give you the same example over here without a safe navigation operator, saving it and let's execute it. So you can see 
this is throwing a query exception and that is because of the null value as list has no rows for assignment. Definitely safe navigation operator helps us to work with null value safely. That marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then thank you and take care.